Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Sira, and much more. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله in uh, today's talk uh, we'll talk about a few ayat from uh, Surah An-Nisa uh, which are very uh, important uh, in any time and age that we are living in uh, to have the correct understanding of uh, these few ayat in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has covered uh, many issues that are related to our uh, day-to-day lives uh, and uh, as individual uh, and as an ummah as well. Uh, the ayat I'm talking about are the ayat which are uh, from ayat number 59 up to 65 uh, and I will just briefly talk about uh, these ayat inshallah and uh, see what are the lessons that uh, we can and uh, we can learn from them from the tafsir that talk about this ayah this ayat uh, the first ayah ayah number 59 where allah azza wa jal said ba 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 a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim ya ayyuhal ladina amanu atiu allaha wa atiu rasula wa uli al-amma minkum fa in tanazatum min shay'in fa rudduhu ila allahi wa rasuli in kuntum tu'minuna billahi wal yawmil akhir dhalika khairun wa wa ahsanu ta'wila sadaqallahu ladim it, in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us a, a, a golden rule for us to follow, which is for the believer, as I have mentioned in the past as well, whenever these ayat, they start with the, term, the with this expression of Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, in general they followed by some of the awamir of our nawahi, meaning the commands from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the prohibitions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the way Sahaba, Ridwanullah alayhim, uh, used to listen to these ayat and they expected that from those uh, those ayat and this ayah is no different than that here Allah Azza wa Jal is commanding us to follow Allah or obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger and then it follows by another uh, another uh, very special rule and, and we know that about obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and messenger is part of our iman but Allah is uh, commanding us to all of, also follow wa'ulil amar minkum, which is the uh, who, the Muslims who are in authority over you, the, uh, which is the rulers or in any any other situation. If somebody is has been given the authority over us by uh, by Allah subhanahu wa taala, but it is also followed by a condition, which is that fa intanazatum fi shayin fa rudduhu ilallahi wa rasuli. Meaning, if you have a conflict among you about what you are uh, following the ul al amr minkum uh, then in that case the command to us is to return back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger that is fa faruddu ila allah wa rasuli in kuntum tu'minuna billahi wal yawmil akhir and this uh, this command of returning back to allah and his messenger in case of the conflicts is a command which is an obligation on the muslim so to obey them is an obligation at the same time if there is some conflict in those cases we are commanded to uh, return back to Allah and His Messenger. As uh, Tafasir talk about that the, one of the uh, understanding regarding this, uh, uh, this ayah is that there was uh, the Sulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent a, a group uh, with the expectation, uh, with the exception, uh, the, uh, with, the, uh, with the command to follow uh, the Amir over them. And the Sulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, he sent a troop under the command of a man from Ansar. And while they were on their way, uh, uh, some conflict happened between them and this Al-Ansari, uh, one of the Ansari men, the, one of the helpers, uh, he got angry at the, the people. So the one who was the Amir over them, the one who was given the leadership over them, he got a little bit angry. And when he got angry, he commanded them to go and collect some wood. And when they collected the wood, then he uh, asked them to start the fire, and while the, there was a big fire was created, then he said, I command you to enter into the fire. And the people were about to enter into the fire, and one of the young men, he said, you only ran away from the fire 
to Allah's Messenger. So therefore do not rush, uh, uh, you, you, uh, rush until you go back to Allah's Messenger. And if He commands you to enter, then enter. But if He does not, then they don't. Uh, and when they went back to Rasulullah and of course they did not enter the fire, and uh, when they went back and mentioned the story. So Rasulullah told them, لَوْ دَخَلْتُمُوهَا مَا, ما خَرَجْتُ مِنْهَا أَبَدًا إِنَّمَا تَعَاتُوا فِي الْمَعْرُوفِ That uh, if you would have entered into the fire, you would have not been able to depart from it. And obedience is only in the case of uh, ma'roof. Ma'roof means which is something from Islam, something which is good, something righteous. And it is not in the case of ma'asiyah. Ma'asiyah means that it is not in the case of a sin. And of course, uh, entering into the fire, uh, uh, taking your own life, it is it is a sin. So uh, in Islam, there are, uh, uh, there are many ahadith on the subject of obeying the Amir. But uh, in all those cases, obe- obedience of the Amir, obedience of uh, the one who has been given the command over you, is only in the case of when it is ma'roof, when it is from Islam, where, and if it, it's uh, and, and in any case, if it is a ma'asiyah, it is a sin that a commander asks you to do. In that case, it is not. Uh, uh, it is not allowed as a matter of we are not supposed to follow in the cases where there is a disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there, uh, 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 there are many hadith on this subject and I'm, I will not go over the whole thing about uh, that. Uh, what does it mean by obeying uh, 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 the whole thing about the, obeying the Amir yeah, this is a very well uh, a well known uh, rule for, that is extracted from the Quran and the Sunnah that obedience of the Amir is, is an obligation, but it is only in the case of the ma'roof, and it is not, as a matter of fact, we are not allowed to obey, uh, whether it's Amir or whether whosoever, in the case somebody commands us to commit, commit a haram. Okay, now, or, or ma'asiyah, or haram, or, or anything that is in the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, similarly, uh, uh, the following ayat are very interesting and they are very relevant from the perspective of uh, the time that we are in, which is in regards to uh, uh, in regards to the hypocrites or the the kind of attributes the hypocrites carry. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned in the following ayat: "Alam tara ila ladina yazamuna anhum am amanu bima unzil alayka wa ma unzil min qablika yuriduna an yatahakamu ila taghuti wa qad qad amiru an yakfuru bihi wa yuridu." Now here this ayah is uh, uh, is very interesting because he says that here referring to those hypocrites that those hypocrites who claim that they believe in that which has been sent down to you Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that which was sent down before you and they wish to go for the judgment in this, the refuse to taghut. So even though they say they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but when it comes to any kind of a dispute that comes up, they want to take the uh, the solution or, 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 the, or the judgment from the taghut. Taghut means anything from other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. While they, uh, while they were ordered to reject them, but shaitan wishes to lead them far astray. So now here um, is an interesting thing. Uh, one thing to understand here, when we are discussing this uh, these ayat in general, when we talk about the hypocrisy or hypocrite, somebody is a hypocrite, uh, the, 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 the definition of a hypocrite is a person who is a kafir from his heart, but on the face value, he says that he is a Muslim. Now, obviously, this is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware of who is the munafiq, who is a hypocrite. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us some of the signs that you can see in there. And obviously, we cannot, uh, we cannot, cannot accuse of somebody to be a hypocrite in that case. We can only talk about if we are seeing the signs and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from um, getting into this kind of situation of uh, exhibiting any of those attributes of the of the munafiqeen. Uh, but at the same time, as a Muslim, we should not be uh, naive of uh, seeing people who are showing the signs of hypocrisy and we continue to follow their hypocritic uh, actions as well. So uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us of those people uh, in the Quran. There are many ayat in that subject like this one. So we have to think about who are those people when they uh, they have very clear ahkam from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they know where the justice comes from, uh, only comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but still they go for looking for justice from other than Islam. Now, 
and the following ayah says wa idha qila lahum ta'alu ila ma anzal Allah wa ila rasuli ra'ayta al munafiqina yasudduna anka sududa that and when it is said to them come to what Allah has sent down and to messenger you see that the hypocrites of the munafiqin turn away from you with aversion see the, the, these are the signs that you see among the munafiqin that they are they are aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from them but at the same time they will not be the one who will be following فَكَيْفَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُسِيبَةٌ بِمَا قَدَّمْ لَيْدِهِمْ ثُمَّ جَاءُكَ يَحْلِفُونَ بِاللَّهِ إِنْ أَرَدْنَا إِلَّا إِحْسَانًا وَتَوْفِيقًا and then he says how then when a catastrophe befalls them because of what their hands have sent forth they come to you swearing by Allah we meant no more than goodwill and uh, consolation see see, then the moment they go through all the hardships for because of the actions they have been doing by not following what Allah and his messenger said then they return back to and they try to show all that they are, they are friends with you and all that then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says يَعْلَمُ اللَّهُ مَا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ فَعَلَنْهُمْ وَعَلَنْهُمْ وَقُلْ لَهُمْ فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ قَوْلًا بَلِيغًا And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, how do you... Because, uh, see, in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was aware of the munafiq, munafiqeen where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned him. But still Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to deal with them what was the face value of the people, meaning that if they were calling themselves Muslim, that so they were treated as Muslim, but at the same time, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was aware of the munafiqeen. But uh, now, we are not... We cannot say somebody is a munafiq. Uh, of course, we can just talk about from the actions. And if the actions are not according to shara, then he will be dealt as uh, somebody who is committing a haram. We still, we, uh, it's not the issue of labeling people as munafiq. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, with the meaning of ayahs, that these munafiqin, those to whom Allah knows what is in their heart, to turn aside from them, but admonish them, and speak to them an effective word, reach their inner selves. Allah is commanding us to talk to them in a manner that talk to the, the, the aqai to, 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 to remind them of the day of judgment that they will be facing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so, so it, it should be in a manner to shake them up so uh, if they are munafiqeen uh, they may uh, see the see the, uh, see the haq in the proper way and they return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the following ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says مِن رَسُولٍ إِلَّا لِيُتَعَى بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ إذ ظلموا أنفسهم جاءوك فاستغفر الله واستغفر لهم الرسول لا وجد الله توابا رحيما Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says here when we sent no messenger but to be obeyed by Allah's leave whether talking about Rasulullah whether we're talking about the prophets behind before him Isa alayhi salam or Yahya alayhi salam or Nuh alayhi salam or Musa alayhi salam or Harun which, whichever messenger that Allah azza wa sent the purpose of sending the messenger was so they should be obeyed by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about, about uh, these people that what kind of people they are if they when they were unjust to themselves had come to you and begged Allah's forgiveness and messenger had begged forgiveness for them indeed they would have uh, found Allah's forgiven most merciful so of course if they come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking for real true for forgiveness then uh, Rasulullah sallallahu made the forgiveness uh, asked for forgiveness for them and the, uh, the last ayah that quickly I want to talk about as a reminder for us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says رَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ حَتَّى يُحَكِّمُوكَ فِي مَا شَجَرَ بَيْنَهُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُوا فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَرَجًا مِمَّا قَدَيْتْ وَيُسَلِّمُ تَسْلِيمًا That but, but, but know by your Lord, they can have no faith until they make you judge Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi of course, in all disputes between them and find in themselves no resistance against your decisions and accept them with full submission. Now this ayah, they are different uh, 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 cause of revelations have been mentioned whether it was an issue of Zubair uh, with, an, uh, uh, with Ansari uh, the conflict between them and Zubair came to Rasulullah and when Zubair the decision was made in a, in a way that it seemed like it was in the favor of Zubair the Allahu An was a cousin of Rasulullah and and uh, 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 and that person he he said to Rasulullah are you giving this decision because he is your uh, he's your cousin <coughs> And uh, upon that, uh, this ayah was revealed to remind uh, to remind him also that not to uh, that uh, to, to if you really want to be the one who believe in Allah subhanahu wa taala, then whatever decision Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, Rasulullah has made, then you should follow it and you take it with full submission. There's other uh, uh, incidents have been reported as well, uh, uh, but that's not the detail. Is not the main issue here. Just to give a brief idea about this ayah. This ayah was of course revealed in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu for the specific uh, um, situation, but of course that's not for the specific situation. It's a 
general ruling is for all the time it is until today as well that means that whatever Allah and his messenger has decided for us today uh, uh, in the Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that has to be followed and without any kind of hesitation and this ayah uh, like some other ayat as well where Allah Azza wa Jal where the issue is very important Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala swears on his own self like here Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says Fala rabbika la yu'minuna hatta yuhakkimu ga fi ma yashajara baynahum that Allah is swearing on, on himself here unlike many other places Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala swears on the creation on his own creation but here the matter is so important that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is talking taking the oath on himself hence uh, the the rule by Allah and his messenger to be lived by to be implemented uh, uh, is as a must for the muslimin it is not something to think of it as a uh, 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 because we don't like it or we don't feel comfortable with it so we will not live by it or we don't implement it no it has to be lived by it has to be implemented and without any kind of hesitation with full submission that's what we call ourselves as Muslim the one who submit to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah uh, we'll uh, stop today's talk here jazakumullah uh, khairan subhanakallah wa bihamdik nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nasafu wa tubu alaykum ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, make us understand uh, correctly the, the 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 book of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and make us the ones who live by the book of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and make the others also to live by the command of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcasts on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, and Sirah are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. Rate, review, and comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about islampodcasts.com.